Listen, guys, we cannot build an investment ecosystem if we don't have some type of exit strategy. Don't fear failure. As long as it's not going to kill you, it's going to make you what? Stronger. They don't know how they're going to get their money back or their return back. Why would they invest? A lot of the investment that we see right now, I can tell you, 9 out of 10, most investors say they're never going to get their money back. But how do you change that? You know, why is uh, SMEs and, and, and startups are able to merge or being acquired much easier in the States or in Europe than in Africa? That's the topic of today. It's, it's always difficult for people to put themselves in the shoes of someone else, right? Because we're always looking for money. Uh, this, eco this ecosystem of investment and all for startups and all, it's kind of new in Africa, let's be honest. Uh, when we talk about, you know, we raised Series A, and it never existed, at least in my generation. When I was uh, in my 20s, where well, I left when I was 19, but in my early days, you never hear anyone start up. It was always a bank, or they already had money, or they had connection, and all those things. Yet, the world outside in in in, uh, in Europe or the states, especially the states, it's been advanced. Uh, it's much more advanced than what it is uh, here in Africa. A lot of investors said, "Well, how do I get my money back plus more?" But this particular topic is why there's a lack of of uh, merging acquisition in Africa for startups or SMEs. Like boutique investment banking, uh, talk to a few from Africa, mostly South Africa. By the way, South Africa is much more advanced ecosystem than, than the traditional other countries in Africa. And they tell you, you know, one of the reason uh, merging acquisition is, is very low in Africa. Number one is the cost of, pro of, of due diligence. But for the states, if you do due diligence on a company, right, you can access that information uh, from your computer or in a digital manner. It's very low cost. The, the, the information is trustworthy in a sense where you access it. There's companies out there, you know, that uh, already collect this type of data that can sell it to you at a very affordable cost. Known companies from the tax uh, IRS and all those things, but it's much easier to access. Number two, <clears throat> that information is trustworthy as far as where you got it from, right? So you know if it's a if it's a company with a high reputation, you know you don't have to double check. But in general, in a lot of countries, you know the information is collected manually. They have to send a team to on the ground to do the due diligence and all those things they don't know the market uh and of course the market to the country is still not most of the countries in africa is still, uh, still not listed high in in, in uh, ease of doing business and it's still listed high in corruptions and all those things so we have this notion that yeah you you can dock your your documents you can pay someone so there's all this untrusty uh, non-trusting uh, aspect of the continent and some of it is true some of it is not true but the bottom line is whoever is giving you money whoever is giving you money their perception of things is what their perception is uh, so if you are if you want to merge a company to another or if you want to get acquired or acquire a company in Africa the cost it's much more high, it's much higher than doing it uh, in the States. So that's a big problem. And that's why you don't see a lot of M&A merging acquisition on the continent, you know? The second problem is no one wants to crack that code. So I'm gonna tell you a, a very interesting statistic. The number one uh, way of transfer of wealth in the States is company acquisition. 
you saw or you sell your company, you instantly acquire this wealth because that value is, is big to you. Uh, that's the number one way of, of uh, wealth creation right now. People getting rich overnight, literally overnight, after they sell their company. And we need to create that kind of ecosystem, not necessarily for the wealth creation and all those things, but the money has to flow. And I'm gonna end with this, as usual, this is always the same topic. Merger and acquisition is key. It's key for startup, it's key for SME, especially in a technology space. When you have a space that takes a long time to generate revenue, where the valuation of those companies are not the same, uh, are, not, are, not, are not done the same as outside the continent. So if you value, if you value a tech company as an African company, it's not going to be the same if that same company was in the States, for example. You know, because the, the, the formula factor in much more than just revenue. If we don't create that ecosystem, because right now we're creating pieces of the puzzle, but the puzzle is, on, is, is not full yet. If we don't fill up that, that last piece of the puzzle, you know, that, that last piece that allow you, you know, to generate wealth, capital, and that's how you hear people now, after they sell their company, they start investment funds. You know, they become VCs, they become angel investors. Because that money, that wealth has been, part of that wealth has been transferred to them and now they're looking at ways to transfer back or part of it. So it's a cycle, man. If we don't understand that ecosystem, we're not, we're not gonna make it. I always like to use the word not make it. But literally, we, we're not gonna move forward at, at a faster pace. Everybody's focusing on startups, accelerator program and all those things. But we're not, we're not solving this puzzle the whole way to, to make sense, you know, and allow companies to actually um, be able to exit so investors can get their money out. For those who are looking at selling their company or getting acquired or merged and all those things, that's definitely content you need to, uh, at least information you need to, uh, or knowledge you need to acquire, but also this information will help you at least get you an idea of uh, what it takes what is needed um, to, to change the game on the continent. What's up everybody? First of all, thank you for watching all the videos. I'm working on a project right now that I'm really, really passionate about. It's called the 50K Challenge. And that's 50,000 copies we need to sell at the book. Out of every 20 sales, I'll be giving one book to a young entrepreneur or young students. And out of every 500 sales, I'll do a one week mentorship to a young entrepreneur. I truly believe with your support, I can achieve that goal, guys. So share the books. If you haven't got it, get it. If you don't like to read, buy it for somebody else. And please share it also on social media. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh,